And what version of ChatGPT should you be using? If you are confused, I do not blame you. I spend all day, every day talking and thinking about AI models and I'm confused. So this is what you're going to see right now if you have a paid version of ChatGPT. Not the pro version, that's just come out and I'll talk about that in a moment. But if you have a general paid version. The big three models that you're going to have are going to be 4.0, 01 and 01 mini. And then if you click the more models, you're going to have GPT-40 mini and GPT-4. First up, you can safely ignore these two. These are older models and you don't need to worry about them. Instead, we're going to focus on 4.0 and 01. Now, 01 just got released literally yesterday. Previously, it used to be 01 preview, just to make things more confusing. And 01 is the reasoning model. It's a model that you can use to solve bigger, more complicated problems. It's meant to be able to think at a PhD level. The way it basically does this is by chaining several prompts together in order to question itself as it's moving along and come out with a better, more reasoned answer. Use this model, 01, if you have a more complicated problem that you need to crack. Generally, it's going to be overkill. And for most tasks, you're going to be using 4.0. GPT-4.0 is now the basic model for using ChatGPT. And for most tasks, you're going to be using this one. There's also 01 Mini, but don't worry about this one too much unless you are building tools using the API. So despite having access to five models, the main ones are going to be 4.0 and 01. And the differentiation is going to be 4.0 for general tasks and 01 for anything that is more complex and needs to be broken down. There's also a new version of 01, which is only available on the $200 a month account. I'll shoot another video about that though. Rest assured, for most tasks, you do not need it.